Hey guys, it's Tony. So I'm coming on very, very quickly. I have a word for you guys, and it is um, trying to pull it up. Um, I want to share it with you. And um, I thought, let's see what day it was. Oh, it doesn't say because I added to it. Um, the other day, um, I actually heard the Lord who was speaking to me. Um, I Let me preface this by saying this. When you have gone through so much in your life, so much pain, so much disappointment, so much um, rejection, uh, so much brokenness, <laughs> um, even so much sickness, sickness in your life, sickness, Holy Spirit. Um, when the Lord starts to bring you into a new season, you go, you go through, you can, you, you have a tendency to go through this, uh, this transition, this space where, um, you're in between us in between, you know, you're neither here nor there. It's the, it's called in the meantime, the middle ground, um, me and my mom always says, in, in the meantime, in between time, sometimes when you have left one thing, but you're on the way to another thing, you, you, can, you, you can sense the Lord is doing something new. You know that he said that he's doing something new. You perceive that it's something new, but there's the threat, that doubt that creeps in the threat of your past. You know, for me, it was um, things like uh, not not having a sense of stability and um, my like living situation being temporary all the time, not knowing month to month what would happen. Even though the Lord had said, no, this is the place. This is where I'm keeping you. This is the place of the blessing. This is where you belong. There's always this threat that mm, you're going to end up without again. You're going to end up homeless again. You're going to have to go back here. And, you know, and a lot of times um, it could be a relationship for you. I've been there before years ago when I was in a relationship. I, the Lord would, you know, the Lord has said, move, leave, you know, get out of that. But then I would, I would feel really, really empowered at that time. I would feel like. I got this. Like, I know I heard from the Lord. Like, this is not for me. Um, you're feeling bold and you're feeling empowered and you know that you heard from God. But when things aren't looking so certain, when the other relationship hasn't come, when the, you know, when the, the real relationship hasn't come, the one the Lord has promised you, you know, um, or you know what I mean? Or if that person was stability for you or even a sense of stability as in you were comfortable, when you're on your own, and things don't quite look like you've made it to the next place yet, that gray area, you have a tendency sometimes to hearken to the voice of the enemy when he says, you ain't here from God. You're going to have to go right back where you came from. Oh, you're going to have to go back to your mama's house. Oh, you're going to have to ask your daddy for some money. Or you're going to have to go back to that relationship because don't nobody else wants you. Like, come on, have you been there? The Lord said to me, get to Stephen. He said, you will not have to go back. He said, don't worry about the threat of your past. He said, there will be laughter. It says in Genesis 21 and 6, and Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. And this is when Sarah was promised a baby in her old age. Listen, laughter. The Bible speaks of laughter. God speaks of laughter. Why? We're made in his image. The Bible actually says that he laughs. Job 8.21 says, He will once again fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. And that means now. He is saying, do not wait. He's Be so confident 
in the place he sent you that it's coming to pass that the relationship will happen that you will not be alone anymore that the finances will come through that the rent will be paid that the car note will be paid that the job will happen that the business will get started be so confident in what he said so laugh now laugh now psalms 2 and 4 says but the one who rules in heaven laughs who that that's god that's yahweh that is abba our father he laughs then it says, Psalm 30 and 11, you have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. He is replacing those clothes that you had on with joy and laughter. It says in Psalms 37, 13, this is my favorite, I think. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's politicians. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, people that, that laughed at you. The Lord is the one that, that's laughing. You might have been crying because of what they said, what they, the threats of your past, of um, them saying, oh yeah, she ain't gonna never amount to nothing. She's never gonna finish school. She ain't never gonna get married. Um, they'll never have a business. She didn't try this business. He didn't try this business. It's not gonna happen. All of that, all of that, she'll never have a baby. All of those things, all of those things, what else? So many things. Oh. Especially when you, when the Lord has promised you healing in your body and you start to, let me tell you, let me speak from a place of understanding and empathy. When the Lord has said you're healed, walk in your healing and you, you get an ache here and a pain there and you wake up with a headache and sometimes you can't eat and then, you know, it's, it can feel, it can look a little bit like we're going back. You're not going back. You're not going back. The Lord says, even, even the enemy, your enemy, which it, all of that stuff comes from the enemy anyway. He's a liar. But when your enemy laughs at you, when you're in bed and you can't get out of bed because you feel sick or because you're sad and you're feeling broken and things don't look like they're changing, and the enemy's laughing at you, the Lord is laughing at him. The Lord says, I'm going to have the last laugh. I got the last laugh. He's got the last laugh. It says that he, for the one that reigns in heaven, but the one who rules in heaven laughs. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. I don't care, like, like I said, if it's your mama, your daddy, your siblings, you're the black sheep of the family. Their day of judgment is coming. You're going to have to, you're going to be like Joseph and you're going to need to have mercy and ask the Lord for strength to be able to bless those who curse you because you're about to be so blessed that there's going to be, you are going to be filled with laughter. And that's it. That's the word of the Lord. He literally said, don't worry about the threat of your past. It's not, you're not going back to your past. You're not going back to that place. You're not going back to your mama's house. You're not going to be, you know, none of that. It might be something as simple as your credit score. Every little thing I would be like worried about my little, like I built my credit up, built my credit up, built my credit up, happy with it. Every little thing I'm like, oh my God. I got it. It's one thing if your finances are like so that so that you know that you can pay everything on time. But when you built your credit up and your finance and you're like, Lord, how are we going to do this on time? You'd be wondering. I'd be like, Lord, I didn't work too hard on my credit. We ain't going back to that. It'd be simple little things. But the Lord and it might be simple for you, but it's it might. But that is big to God. So I don't care how it is. It might be migraine headaches. Listen, I'm talking. I'm telling you what I know. You get one little headache. You're like, man, I thought you said I was healed of migraines. I thought you said I was healed of cramps. I thought you said that, no, that I wouldn't have autoimmune anymore. That I wouldn't have to. That's just the enemy. That's just the enemy. That's just the enemy. So the Lord says he's already laughing at your enemy. 
because his day of judgment is coming. And that's even on a bigger scale. It might look like it topsy-turvy in the world right now, but there is a day of reckoning coming and God is balancing the scales. He is already won. He is already laughing because he knows who has the victory. You know that? Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death couldn't hold him down. He's won the victory. That's, that, that's worldwide. That's you wide. That is your life. And it is not too small. The Lord sees it and it is done. You are not going back to your past. You will not have to go back to that place where you once were. Um, suicidal thoughts, in the name of Jesus Christ, they have to flee. They're canceled right now in the name of Jesus Christ. No more depression. No more. No more eating disorder. No more. No more going back to that abusive relationship. No more in the name of Jesus Christ. No more. No more threats of the, of the, the husband or wife, the ex-husband or wife taking the kids from you. No more threats. He's... He's sealing it up now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's done. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It is over. Laugh. Laugh now. Laugh now. And if you're in so much pain right now that you cannot laugh, don't worry. You will have the last laugh. And it says, what does it say? Sarah said, and Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. The people that's been rocking with you, they're going to laugh with you. It might be one, it might be two. They will laugh with you. And then it says, um, what does it say? Anyway. Oh, these are two songs that he says. Um, it's two songs that he gave me. You know the song, I Just Want to Praise You. Or Thank You. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever. It's by um, one of the Clark sisters. For all you've done for me. That and um, I Really Love You. Um, and I think that's, uh, Jonathan, I'll link them in the description box anyway, but he, he said, sing, sing that right now. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. Blessings and blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Oh, I just want to, I can go into the, <laughs> but I've just been in worship all day. Say hi, Cs. He wants a cookie. That's what he wants, the cookie. Anyway, he don't want me. He wants the cookie. So anyway. We've been in worship all day. God is giving you your life back. I love you.